はい、皆さん、こんにちは、マティアスです。いや、今日では、どんな色が好きか。気に、気に、<笑> sorry everyone. I think I got something in my throat. Today will be determining the greatest color of all time. I think, I think color has been particularly interesting to me lately because I really like the idea of how people perceive color. So, like, most of us probably have, like, similar conceptions about what colors have as meanings. For example, people might think of blue as being like very calming, like water, sky. Blue is so pure that we can't dirty it with our own hands. It doesn't grow in nature except on beautiful, beautiful flowers. What if you started thinking about blue in a different way though, like someone drowning, they're turning blue, <laughs> or like、uh, you think about like the cold, depressing blueness. And then you would be thinking, like, oh my god, I, I hate blue. Blue is cold. Ew, ew. But you know, even giving the color this much thought is like a bit pointless.、Um, let's just get into like colors and like, because, it, you know, all of that is interesting, but it's only interesting from the perspective of how people perceive it on a personal level. So let's get into me. I'm going to expose myself and what I think about colors. Azure is a, I think it's a B. Uh, that's a B. Like, it's it's okay. It's not really. It's not a baby blue, which I would put in S tier.、Uh, because if I have to compliment, I, I probably wouldn't wear all a s u r e and I wouldn't wear all baby blue. But if I had to compliment my outfit, I would go baby blue over a s u r e And、uh, baby blue is just like a nice, nice little, nice little light, light, almost. Blue gray ish kind of thing. On the other hand, pink, I don't like pink.、Uh, I don't like pink at all. That's a D. I, I, and I feel like blue and pink, baby blue and pink are like so complimentary. And that might be the surprise here, the big surprise. How can you like baby blue but dislike pink? Pink is basically the baby blue of red. But no, I don't like it. And beige, on the other hand, I love beige. That's an A, I think. Because it, it, it's not quite there, though. Because it's great. You know, I love, I love a good beige dog. I love a good beige wooden plank. <laughs> I love a good beige、uh, dessert. Black, also an A. And、uh, black goes ahead of beige, definitely. Definitely. Dang. Blue. The pure. This blue? If this is the blue we're talking about, this specific blue, then that's a D. That's a D, because、I'm, I have nothing against blue except for this pure. If you're talking to anyone and they say they love blue, show them this blue and they'll be like, ugh. Brass? I mean, I, I love brown, actually, but this is an ugly brown. This is like bad poopy brown. Like this brown? I mean, maybe, maybe I'm showing my true colors here by placing this at a C tier. Because I, I love variants of brown, is maybe a better way of putting it. I think the variants of brown are great when it doesn't look poopy. But I think most people dislike brown as a whole because they're like, ew, brown is poop. But I don't, I have nothing against brown, especially with like brown houses or like natural brown, like patterns and wooden planks that are like dark brown. Or like dogs and cats that are brown are nice. Actually, maybe we'll place it at a, at a B because of dogs and cats that are brown. Oh, yeah, chocolate is brown.、I'm, and this is kind of like a milky chocolate kind of color. So this could maybe even go higher, but it's not as high as like a s u r e I think.、Uh, carmine is a A, I think. Maybe ahead of black, even, I think. Because that's a great complementary color for like. I'm thinking of like emeralds and emeralds are green. I'm thinking of like jewels and stuff like that. Like for glistening red. Cerulean, that's a good blue. Uh, and here's the question though does it go ahead of baby blue? I don't think so. Cerulean is a great color, especially, I, I think, I feel like people mean different things when they say cerulean. If this is the cerulean we're talking about, then it goes, it does not go ahead of baby blue. If we're talking like a little hint of green, then definitely ahead of baby blue. But that's, that's, you know, that's leaning towards like cyan teal territory, so we'll see, you know. We'll, we'll determine it there. Chartreuse, I don't even know how to pronounce this one. I feel like this is like a, a greenish yellow. And I, I like yellow. I don't like this tint of yellow. That's like a. That's, that's too 
Is garish a, a word? Is garish? Obje obstrusively bright and showy, lurid. Yeah, I feel like that's how I would put it. Cocoa is a great color. I'll put that in, at an A. Is it the head of beige? Ooh, good question. Good question. If it only were a little bit brighter, I think I would put it ahead of beige. But this cocoa, that's behind beige, definitely. Coral? I, I like coral, but it's actually a B because I don't think... It doesn't really complement a whole lot. I, I, I quite like it. Especially when it's leaning even more red. But um, this... It's not quite hitting it for me. Cream? Another great color. I think... Am I just determining things based on food at this point? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm talking beige, cocoa, cream. I don't know. Cream, yeah, that's good. Is it ahead of cocoa? I think so, actually. Now that I think about it, cream is ahead of cocoa because it goes so well with blue and so well with red and yellow. Uh, when you see, like, people wearing, like, a cream color, like, hoodie, I like that, and I prefer that over a cocoa hoodie, so that's my that's my resolution here. Crimson, fantastic color. Um, here's the crazy thing, it might actually go over Cerulean, I think, yeah. Does it go over baby blue? Maybe, actually. Maybe. I, I might, you know, I, I'll make sure by the end that I'll, I'll reassess everything, but I think maybe it actually goes over baby blue. Or does it? I don't even know. I'll, I'll I'll keep play it safe for now, actually, and put it in between here for now. Because I feel like... Baby Blue is really, really good, and Crimson is also really good. And what they do good is they do well in complement, like, complimenting other stuff. I wouldn't wear all... Like, would I wear a Baby Blue hoodie over a Crimson hoodie? Maybe. It's, it's most... It's that thing where it's like you can vary between the two. And would I wear, like baby blue jewelry over crimson jewelry. I don't know. But I would definitely wear, like, I don't know, pants for our baby blue over crimson pants. So, tough questions. Tough questions. Cyan is actually a B, I think. Probably ahead of all the other Bs, though. Because I do like cyan, but this is a bit too... This is not quite the cyan that I like. Uh, and it's also a good complementary for, like, I like stuff that is like sea themed. Oh man, this even but placing it B feels a bit low, also. So maybe maybe for now I'll move it up to A. But I I don't I really don't want to have too much in the S and A tier. I want to limit that as much as possible. So we'll make sure that doesn't happen. Dark gray is pretty good. That's a B. That's a B. Um, it's a good, it's a good like neutral color to wear. Forest green? I'm actually not a fan of forest green. Uh, I like the forest when it's like in different colors, when you see like red, orange, yellow, or when it's like bright green, the yellowish hints of green. Not really a big f fan of the pure green when you see in the forest. Gold? Yeah, it's a B. Um, actually ahead of all of these colors, yeah. Because I, I think before I would have placed gold at like a D, never been a big fan of gold until recently when I saw people sort of putting that in their art, and I kind of, I grew up quite a good liking because of that. Gray, neutral gray, that's like, it's like a C. Uh, maybe I had a forest green, <laughs> even. Green? No, I'm not a fan of this green either, that's still too green for me. Hot pink is trash, don't like hot pink, sorry. Purple? Purple is, uh, I'm not a fan of purple. Yeah, I'm just not. I know this is probably going to hurt people the most because I feel like people who like purple, they're really, really into purple. Um, but I'm just, I'm just not a fan of purple. I, I, I would say maybe I like purple when it's like when you can see the tiny bits of it. That's when I like. I like purple when you can see like the tiny bits of it and stands out. That's quite nice. But I wouldn't say I like it. I like it when it stands out like that. But it's not. The color that I like, it's more about it stands out, I guess. Jade is a pretty... that's a good green. That's a B-tier green. And that's where I'm starting, I'm, because, you know, I like green, but I don't like it when it's, like, heading up in 
too green territory. Cocky, that's yeah, it's it's good. It's all right. It's a, one of the lesser tier browns. It's still a good brown. That's a B tier brown. Lavender. That's a that's a purple I can get ahead. What? That's a purple I can stand behind. I don't even know what to say. Lavender. It's a, it's a nicer. You know, that's like the nature kind of purple that you would see. It's nice. So light gray, uh, C. Yeah, I don't really, it's so neutral that I don't really have all to say. I, and I actually, I, I don't know, I feel like I could get behind gray. Gray could be nice, but um, just so neutral. And But I, I, I also feel like that is the benefit of gray. Like, if you want to enjoy every color in a way, you could say that you like gray, and gray is your favorite color. Because people say, like, oh, gray is, like, so basic. But being basic can be really good, because that means that like, you're like a part of everything at that point. That's quite nice, that's quite good. Like you could you could be gray. You could say gray is my favorite color, people would think you're bland and boring. But gray is like so encompassing of like every color and complementing everything. Because of that, I feel like I should almost give gray, light gray, a higher grade here. And I'll put ahead of gray gray. Lilac. Um yeah, that's pretty good. I'll put it ahead of, yeah, forest green. Maybe ahead of gray as well. Lime. Yeah, I mean, that's a that's a pretty good color, I guess. But it's only, you know, C tier. Magenta, no. Don't like magenta. That's too annoying. Maroon? Uh, it's not really my kind of red. It's not something I would get behind. It's not, it's not something I would stand by. Mauve? Mauve? How do you say that? Mauve. Not really my type. Not really my type. Mint? Yes, I like mint. Uh, quite a good green. This is a good, good green right here. Um, we'll put it even ahead of beige. That's how much I'll appreciate mint. Uh, because, you know, if, if you're offering me like a beige cream cookie or a mint cookie, I'm gonna go with mint. Navy blue is so like... It's so standard at this point. Like, I... The thing is, I... I... I feel like I used to wear so much navy blue because that was like such a... Na it was such a safe bet, and that was like most of my wardrobe for like most of my life. Blue and black, navy blue and black, and I don't know, it's um, it's fine, but it's not really something that stands out. Olive. Yeah, olive is good. I like olive because it's like a more mature color, I feel like. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's like, if I had to pick between like a navy blue jacket or like a olive jacket, maybe I would still pick a <laughs> navy blue actually, but... I do like olive in general, still. So this is a tough one. I'll, I'll go behind blue for now. Orange is a very, very good color. I would... It's been my favorite color for quite some time, orange. But I feel like even that has changed quite a bit. Like, maybe I would even put red ahead of orange. But now it feels wrong to have baby blue and crimson behind or ahead of... I, I, because I, I really have enjoyed orange quite a bit for a long time. And I think, the thing is, orange is like, it's not necessarily something you can always wear. It's not something that, like, I would necessarily wear, but it's a color that makes me happy. And I would, I would have, I would enjoy a flag with orange to it. Uh, if, if there was like a flag with a lot of orange or like a banner, then I would carry that banner. Peach is such a good color. That is a great color. It's definitely up here, S tier. Periwinkle, uh, better than baby blue. Uh, because it has, partly it has such a good name, Periwinkle. Uh, other part is that it's such a nice color. Why is my throat going out? I haven't even been talking <laughs> that much for that long. Uh, plum, that's a good purple. That is definitely a good purple. That's an A tier purple. Um, red? Just basic red? Yeah. That's like an S tier. Red is another color that I would probably not wear, but I do like it. I like how it stands out. It might even go, yeah, it would go ahead of Cerulean if we're talking this Cerulean, then yeah. Rose. Um, it's a B tier, but still a pretty good B tier. It's, it's like ahead of gold, I feel. Royal blue is pretty good, but still a B tier. Yeah. Salmon? No, I don't really like the fleshy color that much. Still a C up here. Sky blue, pretty good, but so basic. 
yeah, I'll put it maybe here. Slate, nice, nice color, nice blue. Maybe around here. Yeah, ahead of us, sure, yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think so, yeah, spring? I think this is a green, but I could really get behind. It might, yeah, I think that's an A tier, like ahead of Carmine, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Tan, now we're getting to like, I like beige and brown, but it's just like a beige that's, beige brown, it's kind of, it's kind of like a beige that's like too basic, you know? Tawny, it's not, it makes me think of like 70s, 80s fashion. Actually, that's a C tier. Whoops, that's a like a down here. Teal is so good, so ideal that we're gonna put that maybe ahead of orange. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call even teal my favorite color though. I don't think. Um, but it is so good. It's so good. Dang, terracotta. Yeah, I liked this color. It's it's like a clay. It brings back like memories of playing with clay as a kid. <laughs> so I'll I'll put that here. Maybe yeah, I'll put that behind mint. Yeah, turquoise. Uh, I mean the thing is, why would I ever pick turquoise if there's teal, right? Like compare these two. I mean, for example, place it here. Why would I pick turquoise when there's teal? So that's like. It's pointless. It's a pointless color. It's. I'll pick that. Uh, yeah, I'll place it last because it's like, is turquoise bad? No. But it's so pointless compared to everything else because there's teal. Why would it? There's jade. There's olive. There's khaki. Why would I pick turquoise? Actually, I, I would pick turquoise for some jewelry if I had to pick some. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a B then, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a big flip. Vermilion. 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 I don't know. That vermilion is like an A, I feel. That's a good red. Definitely a good red. Violet. Uh, yeah, that's a purple I can stand behind. It's I'm not I, I feel like given the purple choices, would I pick plum over violet? Yeah. And violet is like a B tier violet that I would pick, yeah. A B tier purple, I mean. Viridian, that's a really good green. And now we're entering like the teal territory where it's like really, really good. Like this is better than teal, like a dark teal. Even better, for sure. White? Nah, uh, I don't think so. Uh, C, like it's a good complimentary. It's not really something I, I like. It's It gets dirty quick, like real quick and stands out so much uh maybe i don't know maybe i can learn to appreciate white nah i don't think so and the very last is yellow and i quite like yellow i would put that ahead of not ahead of teal um maybe not ahead of periwinkle baby blue but ahead of red yeah and yellow is so good simply because yellow is like a <coughs> oh, I'm, I'm losing my voice yellow is so good because yellow is a funny color and that's the only reasoning I have to it I can't explain it but yellow is just it's a funny color it's a color that is funny uh, it, so much stuff is yellow that's just like inherently good like egg yolk or like banana and I just can't explain it, but it's such a good, it's a, it's a comedic color. Oh man, maybe because of that, it's like head of baby blue. But yeah. And now let's, let's think about this, like, what, what have, what have I placed wrong here? Hmm. I think maybe I would put crimson head of baby blue. Peach? I think it's pretty good where it is. Oh man. And no, I think this is pretty good. Like, I don't think I need to correct this anymore. I don't think there's anything drastic I would change about it. Um, but yeah, I think color is a really interesting to think about. 
Oh man, I, I'm, I'm actually kind of thinking that maybe if I had to change something, would I ex change orange with Viridian now? Now that I think about it, maybe I would. Oh, it's such a diff it's it's a difficult decision to make for me because orange has been my favorite color for some time now, and maybe I would, maybe I would place Viridian ahead of orange. Does this feel right? Because maybe I think of Viridian is linked to like teal, and I, I kind of imagine like these two as the same color. Whoops! But now that I'm looking at, if I had to separate them, teal and Viridian, dark teal. It's like yeah, it's dark teal is a great. It's a, such a good color. So yeah, maybe that's ahead of orange. I, I don't know if I would call it my favorite color. But yeah, it's very good. Periwinkle is such a good color too, though. Especially the name Periwinkle. Like, I think the name just adds so much to it. Where it's like, if I had to rank <laughs> rank all of these by name, then Periwinkle wins. Like, so easy. Periwinkle is like the best color name ever. But it, I, I don't know if I would call it my favorite color. It is a really, really good blue. And so fortunate that Periwinkle is not ugly. Oh man, I don't no, I don't think I could place it, place it ahead of orange. And I don't think I could place it ahead of teal. Maybe ahead of teal. Maybe. Yeah, I think I could, actually, because why not? If if I have Viridian, then I don't need teal, right? What I find interesting about color is uh, from, like, a cultural perspective of, like, think about color 2,000 years ago in, like, ancient Greece, where it's, like, I mean, I think it was, like, even before then, I think it was, like, 3,000, 4,000 years, where people described color as, like, uh, four basics white black red and yellow and it doesn't mean that people thought of like they they were color blind and they could only see those colors but in terms of a description like coral would be red brown would be red gold would be yellow rose would be red and the interesting part is that blue you know this kind of blue would be seen as probably green but slate would probably be seen as uh black royal blue black turquoise green and navy blue black and sky blue would be white because their you know their perception of color would be that like they don't really have much blue in nature the only thing there is is the sky and the sea and the sky would turn black and it would turn white so it's like yeah dark blue black same color uh morning it's like I mean, morning's pretty red and yellow, but you know, bright during the day, it would be white because it's like s sky blue. So that's like what's really interesting to me is like how much of that can change just by the distinctions we make between color. And the, the color blue has not existed for a long time in a way because of how we relate to color and how we make it. So in East Asia, the distinction between blue and green was only recently made, where people perceived blue and green as being the same color. And today we look at that and we're like, oh wow, that's crazy, right? That's insane. Is it? Because like, why, why would Periwinkle and Navy Blue both be blue, right? I mean, if we put these two together, they're so different. And there's no reason for us to say they're both blue. They could be separate colors in the same way that green and blue are different. I'm kind of, I should probably shouldn't be ruining my ranking right now. In, in a similar way, as we can say, oh, how could people in East Asia think blue and green are the same color? We could look at like cyan and blue and be like, well, <laughs> a lot of people today, they think of cyan and teal as being blue. And teal is a very green color, and I think a lot of people would call that green, cyan, a lot of people would call that blue. But they are distinct, aren't they? Or at least they have become distinct in modern times, whereas like, if you show cyan to a boomer, they're just gonna call that light blue. And you show teal to a boomer, they're just gonna say, oh, that's light green. It's like, is it? Isn't this a greenish blue and a bluish green? And we, we don't even have, like, in Swedish in particular, we don't have words for cyan and teal. Like, we have imported cyan and we call teal, like, green-blue. And, and is green-blue a name for a color? I don't know. 
Before the word orange in Europe, we call that uh, yellow red. And I guess that's a color, but it's like it's a weird name, right? Because it's just a blend of colors. I know. I guess it's a name, yeah. I guess that makes sense, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's an interesting thing about color and how you perceive color and like how color relates to you. Uh, because I think a lot of people perceive as like red as being dangerous and stop. I mean, I did for a long time and like, oh yeah, I think of red, I think of blood, I think of green, I think of nature. But then you can twist that kind of thinking and be like, well, if your hand was turning green, you wouldn't be like, oh, wow, what a nice, uh, what a nice green I happen to have here, you know. <laughs> I don't know if that, does that logically make sense? Can your hand turn green? I guess so, from like mold. And you wouldn't be like, what a nice nature color we have here. If your hand was turning blue, you would call a doctor and be like, oh my freaking god. You wouldn't be like, oh my god, it's so nice, so beautiful. You'd be like, oh my god, I'm dying. White skin? That's a dead purple skin? That's a dead Salmon, lime, gray, lavender skin, it's all, everything is dead, it's not just red. I feel like red is good because it's so alive and so passionate, you know, it's it's uh, the most primal color, and I feel like that's why I can appreciate it in many ways, but, man, does it beat Periwinkle? I don't think so. Favorite color is a, it's a dumb concept in many ways, because it's like, how could you even have a favorite color you have like a favorite range of colors and all of this is like so like in flux where it's like everything in my top here is probably what i like but everything here could change i think i could even add spring here because i did enjoy a spring this kind of green for a long time because of like drinking a lot of matcha and green tea but now i feel like no nah, i would probably not put that there anymore but i i spring i this kind of green used to be my favorite color when I was drinking a lot of green tea. Now I'm like, nah, teal, teal, viridian. I don't need green. I need, I like the mixture. I like blue. I like baby blue, but periwinkle. Periwinkle, dude. And I feel like this is the flux of like, yeah, you know, you're, you're, it probably says more about you about what colors you don't like than the colors that you do like. I don't know, <laughs> maybe not. Like yesterday, maybe I would have been like, ah oh, yeah, crimson, all the way, love crimson. Actually, crimson does look quite nice up there. I don't even know where I put it. I'll put it here. And uh, it, it's so dependent on context. Like if I was designing a flag, I would, yeah, I would probably use these colors, yeah. <laughs> I probably would. So I'm glad that we came to the final conclusion that Viridian is the greatest color within the range of possibly becoming my favorite color, but I'm, I'm, I don't feel like I'm ready for that kind of like a thing that I can determinately say. And it's, I would more likely say that orange is my favorite color, but even that could be exchanged with Periwinkle, which definitely has an upper hand here. And I think, I feel like Crimson maybe could make a good leap forward as well. Like Crimson could definitely make a great leap in the future. It's all dependent on the growing context and how ever changing everything is. And the fact that favorite color is so dumb <laughs> and it's not really worth thinking about, which is also why it's fun to think about. And I think that's a good conclusion to this video is like, don't take this stuff so seriously where it's like, I'm gonna, you know, I, I don't like, I, I like orange, but I'm not gonna base my my life around it. Uh, I, I definitely see those people every now and then where it's like, they wear all purple, or they wear like all red, and all yellow, all teal, all blue. I mean, all blue is pretty normal, I don't think that's too crazy. It's more fun with the, the variety. And it's more fun to be in motion than to be fixed. I don't, I don't think it's good. You always, I, the good part about this is that you're always going to be questioning this. And that's how you know you're moving forward, I think. It's not fun to be determined and be say like, oh yeah, orange and orange forever. It's through the questioning and trying new things, particularly with like art and stuff like that, that you find new things. Man, I do like Viridian though. Viridian is real good. And that's, that's an interesting, you know, I, I was talking crap about green earlier. Viridian is pretty green. I like that. Viridian is green. Does that mean my favorite color is green or is it Viridian? <laughs> I don't know. It's so dependent on the context because I would call that a dark teal, right? And that's what makes it fun. It's very personal. That makes it fun. 
and so unimportant and not interesting in many ways, which also makes it fun. 